Hi, my name is Ramona Hernandez, and this is my story to the arts in my world. What is visual arts? The visual arts are art forms such as paintings, drawings, sculptures, videos, and many more. Imagine living in a time where a virus takes over the world. For over two years, and life itself has little meaning. You can't go out with your friends, and the only interaction you have with others is virtually or through a mask in a grocery store. Visual arts can facilitate the emptiness this virus has brought. About me. My name is Ramona Hernandez, a soon-to-be college graduate from Fresno State with my bachelor's in liberal studies. I have an associate's degree in social science and an associate's degree in liberal arts and arts and humanities. I am a current employee at the Porterville Unified School District and an integrated arts studies student that has learned multiple means of integrated arts and its benefits. One form of art that resides with me is visual arts. Looking at a form of art, like the one I see daily on my interest to campus, is fascinating. As a student, I have found peace and comfort in visual arts. Some projects of visual arts that I have created this semester is a painting of Scream I did during our gown times and my personalized cap that I will wear at our upcoming graduation. I actually wanted to pay someone to do my cap, but with limited funds, I headed over to my local Dollar Tree and found some art supplies I had and created my cap in honor of my favorite artist, J. Cole. I chose to share these artworks because I have created an inspiration to others to pick up a pen or a paintbrush to create their own masterpiece. As a current employer, I have been able to witness how students love to draw and how it helps them de-stress. This is a student who has used art to distress and avoid mental breakdowns. Here is another of my students who was able to create a snowman. As she mentioned, she used three similar shapes to create her masterpiece. I was proud of her that she was able to identify how she viewed visual arts in the world around her. So why is it special? Finding a hobby will lead you to explore more about the topic, making life better as you prioritize your mental health. I, for one, recently took a trip to visit San Luis Obispo's Museum of Art to gather more inspiration and to acknowledge others' work. I found many beautiful artworks and learned that art reveals more about the viewer than the art artist. Finding your hidden passion is critical to live a happy life. When you find it, you will want to explore more about it and you will find meaning within a mess. You will even notice how even a trashy or germy alley can be viewed as something beautiful. So how did these ideas come to mind? The idea to create my own cap originated during spring break. As I was looking into the visual arts module, I learned the basics in arts and noticed how we can manipulate shapes and create beautiful things while keeping your mental health as a priority. In addition, I needed a place to visit during spring break. So what better than to visit the museum in San Luis Obispo? Why am I sharing my artwork? I am sharing my art and how art has impacted my students' life to hope, in hopes to inspire others to find peace within art and explore the world around them. I am encouraging you to see what you can create through lines, shapes, and create your own safe space. So, I am calling all artists. Get your pens, your markers, your children's crayons or chalk to create a bonding moment with them. I encourage you to play some music and see how fun visual arts is. Take a time to create a bonding time. Get out there and be your own Picasso. Remember, the goal is to have fun. Thank you for watching.